Howdy everyone. I'm back at it again, getting an early start today. I'm out here fishing with a friend. Actually, wasn't even planning on coming out this morning, but I had some video editing to get done last night. Got done at about 3 a.m. He mentioned he was coming out here at sunrise today, so I <laughs> figured I'd toss my kayak in the truck and come out here and chase some smallies. So right now it's the end of May. Those smallmouth are probably just getting done with spawn. I'm gonna see if they're hitting top water. Got a new little rat lure I'm gonna try out here today. This is the Mike Buka baby bull rat. Looks like it's about perfect size for some smallies. Let's take a look at his swimming action. He's got a nice little wobble to him. Nice little rat wobble. I don't think it has a rattle like the Spro Rat does. But I think the water on this lake is super clear, if I remember right. At least it should be this time of year until the algae starts growing in. But we'll fish around with that baby bull rat and see if we get bit. Really couldn't ask for a nicer morning to be out here in the kayak. The sun is coming up. Should get that water temp going up a little bit. It did get kind of chilly last night. Glad I brought my jacket because it was like 45 degrees when I pulled up at the boat launch. Look at that stump over there. It looks awfully fishy. Yeah, it got kind of chilly overnight. I think it's supposed to get up to about 70 today. If those fish are just getting done with spawn, they should be looking to eat. I think for the most part, we're just gonna have to cover a little bit of water and find those fish. Aaron over there is chucking the whopper plopper. This water looks pretty clear. Oh, something just swirled at my rat there. Hmm. I had one swirl at it. I don't know. Like I said, it got kind of cold last night. Maybe they just aren't into top water quite yet. I'm gonna toss my wacky worm. See if that fish will eat the worm. Oh yeah, he ate the worm. <laughs> well, I saw him swirl at that rat at first. Hit him up with the old one-two punch with the rat and then the wacky worm. Yeah, about five seconds in the water with that worm, I felt the thump. Oh, I just barely, barely hooked that fish. Right in the upper lip there. Nice fish though. Good start. Bright red eye on that fish. I don't know, I'm still pretty chunky looking. Although the fish on this lake, they do have a really, really thick build like that. I fished out here once. Oh, I almost felt like something else grabbed it. Oh, I got a little chunk of some weeds or something on my worm. Give it another cast up there, see if that one has any buddies. I don't want to 
take my paddle out and so I'm gonna use my net. <laughs> There we go. There's one on the rat. Oh, yeah. Oh, there you. <laughs> Man, these are some hard fighting fish on this lake. They're just all super thick. This guy before he does anything too crazy. The other hook is awfully close to my finger there. There we go. Got one on that baby bull rat. Nice thick little smallie. Well that one smashed that top water lure like he meant it. Almost just flip my players overboard. All right, sweet. I think those fish are probably sitting out a little bit deeper. I've been seeing some scattered weeds, in about five to six feet of water. Aaron over there just caught one at about that same depth on his whopper plopper. Some weeds right there. Give it a little pause. See if a fish pops up out of there and grabs it. Oh yeah, I've got some weeds out here. About six feet of water. Oh. What did I say those fish are hanging out in the weeds. I feel a bite coming on here. Okay, maybe that that's what I was sensing, I guess. <laughs> Just a big old carp coming up to look at me. <laughs> maybe that's why my spidey senses were tingling. Yeah, one thing I was a little bit concerned about with this lure was that it would dive beneath the surface, but I mean, he's staying up on top pretty well. Kind of just keeping my rod tip high, but I mean, you got to reel them pretty fast to get them to dive under. So I'm pretty happy with that. I was really hoping he'd be more of a topwater lure than a diving wake bait style of lure. Yeah, I like that little baby bull rat. I'll have to give that one a try out on the river a little bit later on this summer. I think that'd be a great lure on the river too. I just need to figure out where those smallies are hiding on this lake. Caught a couple. But I've only fished here once before, so I don't really know the lake all that well. And I didn't really spend that much time here the one time I was out here in the past. Kind of a crazy, foggy, windy, rainy weather morning. And I don't think the fish really liked it because I didn't have much luck finding them. <laughs> Caught one that trip, so I'm doing twice as good already today. But 
but we'll see if we can get a couple more on that rat. Oh, that's not a bad fish. I thought he was just a little guy at first. It's not a huge one, but that's a decent one on the rat. Just gotta go for it and grab that fish. Don't let him thrash with those hooks. <laughs> Beauty. About the same size as the other two I've caught. Plopper back there behind me. It's a little bit nervous. He'd totally be whooping up on me with the plopper, but I think we're pretty even as far as fish caught now. We've each got a few. Oh man, I think fish tried to jump into the kayak with me. He's got a few on the plopper. I've got a few on this rat lure now. Look at that. It's a beauty of a smallie on that baby bull rat. It's a nice thick looking fish. It's probably a good 18 inch smallie, I bet. Man, they are all just super thick out here though. Those big thick smallies, they sure put up a good fight. Nice fish. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> you got my lure caught in the net and shook free, but we got him. Man, look at that. That's a beast of a smallie right there. Oh, I didn't even grab my measuring stick. Ah, I'd do it on the paddle, but that's probably a 19, 19 and a half inch smallie. Nice and thick. Heck yeah. It's a beautiful morning out here for some topwater fishing. All right, you guys, that's gonna do it for today's trip. I fished around another hour and a half or so after I caught that last fish. It's been pretty slow going since then. That sun's been shining, the wind has been picking up. I kind of think the topwater bite might be about done for the day. But we did find a few nice smallies out here this morning, willing to eat that baby bull rat. That's a neat little lure. I really like it. It's got good action, it fishes well. I'll definitely give that one another try. I'd like to toss them around out on the river one of these days. Well, I think that's gonna do it for this one. That wind is supposed to keep picking up as we get into the afternoon and I didn't get much sleep or none at all last night, I should say. So <laughs> I don't wanna stay out here too long and be falling asleep on the way home. So I think I'm gonna pedal back over to the launch and get out of here for the day. It's a fun morning out here though, kind of a quick trip today. I just really wanted to get out and fish for a few hours. Wasn't even really sure if the smallies would be hitting top water, so the fact that we got a few on top, well, that makes me happy. I hope you guys enjoyed the morning in the kayak with me. I had a blast. Thanks for coming along with me again. 
I'll see you next time.